It sounds insane, but this is where we're, where we're heading. 10 million transactions per second. And that's enough for every single person on earth to do 100 transactions per day. So as a young company in, I think, 2018, we took an investment from a Hong Kong company called Hashkey, which was owned as a subsidiary of Wang Chong. And, and it's funny because the market doesn't want Bitcoin to do tokenization, tokenize deposits, and this will change uh, from country to country, depending on regulation, depending on the chosen technology. Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XMP Army. Welcome back, back man and back ladies. Here's some more Moon O'Clock news. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up and strap into the mothership. Let's go full XRP. speed, full throttle. We got Ripple here. Our latest XRP markets report is now live. Detailing the Q4 events in crypto that brought the important topics such as compliance and anti-money laundering to the forefront, key regulatory and licensee winnings, and the latest on the XRP ledger integrations. We got the Q4 2023 XRP markets report. Links will be down below if you want to go through this. But we got Ripple licensing wins, Q4 global regulatory developments. We got XRP price and realized volatility, XRP spot trading volume. We got XRP spot exchange volume, the state of the XRP ledger, and we got on-chain activity. Last quarter, the on-chain transaction increased by 34% and the number of wallets increased by over 30%. More than half of the all-time NFTs minting took place in Q4 increased over 400 percent compared to q3 we can see the on-chain activity here transactions from q3 q4 up 34 percent quarter over quarter xrp burn from transaction fees up 30 percent average cost per transaction fee minus three percent average xrp closing price in usd plus seven percent average cost in transaction plus four volume on the decks minus 75 trust lines minus two percent number of new wallets 32 percent we also got the Ripple holdings here. Total XRP held by Ripple September 30th, 5.2 billion. And we got December 31st, 2023. XRP held by Ripple, 5.07 billion. The wallet's getting smaller and smaller. Meanwhile, XRP Daily, Judge Torres granted Ripple an extension of time for remedies related to discovery. The new deadline is set for February 20th, 2024. We got one from XRP Drops. Big Brad Garland House speaks at the Dubai FinTech Summit 2024, officially announced. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bitcoin Magazine says Justin, the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, says that Bitcoin has created a global internet of value. We got the black swan capitalist BTC mining isn't the future, which is why the world has turned to XRP and Ripple for global transactions since XRP presents a self-sustainable monetary system, immutable distributed bridge. Interestingly, BTC is under attack by Senator Warren while her buddies at the SEC use it to exploit investors and buy time. Meanwhile, we got Ethereum also is the internet of value. Steven Neroff says Ethereum is merely another fraudulent ICO. We've all witnessed Joseph Lubin's emphasis on price over utility has left Ethereum without solid use cases, coupled with questions, security, and centralized control. It's a disaster in the making, ignoring the signs. Don't play the victim when the Ethereum faces an FTX like downfall. With clever engineering, we'll be in a position where we can do 10 million transactions per second on Ethereum. It sounds insane, but this is where we're, where we're heading. 10 million transactions per second. And that's enough for every single person on Earth to do 100 transactions per day. And so we'll be in a position where the whole internet of value can be in one place with shared security. And we only buy into one security assumption, which is that Ethereum is secure. And this brings us to trying to grow the economic security of Ethereum. Right now, we we are at $70 billion, which is extremely good. It's 29 million ETH times the price of ETH. But, you know, I'm hopeful that we'll get to a trillion dollar of economic security or even trillions of dollars, at which point, you know, we'll have unquestionable security even against nation states. And we'll be in a position where, you know, the internet of value is unquestionably secure and it's just unquestionably the, the place where everything happens. And we got Thinking Crypto podcast, Tony Edwards, Aaron Kaplan of Prometheum talks about if the company has ties to China. There's talks of Prometheum having deep ties to the CCP. What can you tell us there? I understand that there's concern there. And the reason that there's concern is because when you're building market infrastructure, 
Uh, it's a matter of national security. So as a young company in, I think, 2018, we took an investment from a Hong Kong company called Hashkey, which was owned as a subsidiary of Wangshan. And the idea was we take an investment and we're going to co-develop and we're going to co-develop this market infrastructure, right? We realize that this is not a viable approach. We basically abrogate that agreement. We basically have a contractual agreement that we're done with this. You're no longer to do this. And we take everything in house. We get a full on investigation by the SEC. We basically submit everything that they ask. And that inquiry was closed. If you look at it, you can make an argument that we're one of the most investigated companies in that sense to make sure we don't have ties. Everything we create is our own. All our code is our own. Hashki Wangshang owned as an equity investor, a percentage of the company. No, not where we're closed to a majority. Don't fall for the media trickery. There's only one digital asset touted as the Internet of Value, XRP. Ripple provides frictionless experience to set money globally using blockchain, set money and value anywhere around the world instantly. 365, 24 seven with no middleman snatching up the fees and no miners centralizing transactions. We got Interledger, the open protocol for payments across payment networks, blockchains and others. XRP, the digital asset built for payments, built for utility, built for the Internet of Value, the open platform for money. Know what you hold, know what's coming. XRP, ILP, RippleNet, RippleX, the true Internet of Value. We got one from Mr. Man XRP, a stable coin such as USDC utilizing the same rails. XLM as a tokenized asset is important for creating stability in the crypto space. By being pegged to real world assets or fiat currency, stable coins provide a reliable store of value and reduce volatility associated with other cryptos. To a much, I would say, broader perspective, uh, in when we talk about tokenization, okay, for me, that's a very important part of it is that what this technology can bring a part of, well, if it is money or if it's not money, for me, money mean money is, is, is demand uh, 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 phenomenon, right? Apart from, let's say, the, the, the official money. And But when we talk about tokenization, then we're talking about technology. We're basically talking about programmability, okay? And if these tokenized world that people talk to so much it's really good and it's really will change financial uh industry it needs to have stable currencies working on the same rails that the tokenization products will run right and for that and, and it's funny because the market doesn't want bitcoin to do tokenization that's why the stable coin usd stable coin is so big okay because the market is already telling us okay we need USD, we need Euro, maybe, but we need this money, this stable money running on the same technology that we want to do tokenization, we want to do DeFi, we want to do whatever people are coming with. And so I think that this new world uh, is that well, part of the money will go on chain. Probably we won't have just like CBDCs. CBDCs will vary a lot depending on country to country, regulation to regulation. It will probably will not be just CBDCs. Will be probably a mix of like I call them cousins. Okay, so uh, we probably a mix of CBDCs, stable coins, uh, tokenized deposits, and this will change uh, from country to country depending on regulation, depending on the chosen technology, uh, and we're just scratching the surface. Okay. Uh, Best is still yet to come. Crawl walk. Did we rock it? We got one from Nerdy X. SA checks on the move. Currently up 30% in the last 24 hours. Stronghold on the move. We got Stronghold looking like XRP in the 2017-2018 run just getting started. Previous all-time highs for Stronghold around 5 cents. Also, if you didn't know, over on the Stellar X platform, we got the AMM liquidity pools here with XLM and SHX. We also got Aqua USDC. And a few others here. Links down below. Stellar X, automated market maker. Stellar, 10 years ago, the Stellar network began as a decentralized payment network with the infrastructure, features, and tools needed to enable fast, affordable, and efficient payments. Now, on the brink of a decade of success, the Stellar Development Foundation's missions of greater access to the financial system is evolving. By integrating smart contracts, we're revolutionizing our tech stack and paving the way for DeFi on a whole new level. With open participation, a focus on everyday finance, and a trustworthy tech stack, Stellar is setting the course for an inclusive, sustainable future. This year, Stellar is about implementation creativity and growth building a better future one objective at a time let's make it happen together stellar xlm 
And we got Mr. John here. XLM is next. Level one, decentralized. Yes. Two, transaction cost, triple zero one. Three, stellar disbursement platform, stellar eight assist, smart contracts. Yes. AMMs. Yes. And much more. We got digital perspectives. This is the real problem and every world leader knows it. Question is, what will the USA do about it to preserve the USD's role on the global stage? And we got Coindesk. We're excited to welcome Stellar Org as a five block sponsor for Consensus 2024. It's great to have them on board. We got the Titan of Crypto, 70,000 Bitcoin sooner than expected. BTC is headed toward the blue line that currently lies at 69K. And it'll be higher as time goes by, looking at Bitcoin progressing in the power law court order. A pattern appears. One, two rejections at the purple line. Two, break out of the purple line. Three, blue line reach. BTCs on its way to the blue line. And with that being said, Batman and Bag Lady, we're still early. Load up while you still have some time. XRP, two for a dollar. Stellar XLM, 10 for a dollar. The total market cap of all crypto, 1.7 trillion market cap of nvidia 1.7 trillion we're just getting started the best is yet to come crawl walk then we rock it don't fall for the media trickery load up on those utility coins while you still have some time digital assets for real use cases real utility faster cheaper more efficient appreciate you stopping by tuning in for this one drop a likey smash that like button on the way out help spread the good news catch you in the next one peace out crypto ghost later bitches Plant a few codes, we breaking the mold Utility run, we breaking the show We knew how it went, now look how it go Rockets gon' blow, we bought on the low Liquidity flow, you would think it was pro How we moving them chains, changing the game And them gains of the pains, I'm longer a slave Mental my state, yeah it all changed Pop, 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 you then know you're not Jumping the yada, we dropping the top Bought the whole block, we spreading the pot